Hello, good morning. This is Teacher Jacob, and this video is for eighth grade. Today, uh, we are going to um, study reading class. Remember, this class is for eighth grade. And uh, don't forget, it's necessary to write the date. Today, it's August 10th, and we are going to study page 87. And the class is going to be a reading class, okay? So keep in mind that because it's necessary, uh, you understand what we are doing at the moment. Don't forget, this is our Genesis School Countryside, the best way for learning English. I know you understand pretty well what, what, when I'm talking, and you are, you are excellent students in general. So reading under, I mean, reading a skill uh, is, is excellent and is, uh, is good, but you need also to know that Talking about reading, it's necessary that you uh, understand what is important. I mean, in order to understand reading comprehension, uh, it's it's like a, an obligation to have a lot of vocabulary. Okay, and let's go. You know, let's go to. Um, to uh, reading, so we're going to start this reading. But before that, let's check it out a little bit, a little a bit of uh, this. Um, wall in your hands, so I'm looking at the pictures and complete the table according to who is wearing each, each item. Uh, so, and that is this. So, you need to make in a straight dog. Uh, this is Jake. Jake, so he's wearing shorts, so you need to write here shorts and uh, sandals. You know, he is wearing sandals, so you write here sandals. And what is this? This is a t shirt, he has here ties, bracelets, sandals, well, jeans, hairband, belt. Okay, hat. Well, we we don't have t-shirt here, but anyway, okay, let's go to Monica or Monique. And Monique it's she is wearing definitely she's wearing jeans. Yes, she's wearing jeans. And she is wearing also um what else? Uh Yes, hairband is this. Yes, it's possible. She's wearing that in her head. Uh, she's wearing, uh, what is this? It looks like a, it looks like a handbag, but it looks like a purse. Well, it could be purse. Yes, in some case, it, it looks like a purse. Oh, this man, we forgot, the, this bracelet, he's wearing bracelet, this is a bracelet, all right, and what else, and let's go to Suki, Suki, she's wearing shirt, remember, so in this unit, uh, also what you need to know is a lot of uh, vocabulary for cloth. So necessary uh, to have around uh, 20 parts of the cloth, the vocabulary. She's wearing hat, yes. A jacket, a white jacket, yes, this is a jacket. And a skirt, and this is uh, what it calls here, maybe perhaps she has tights. Well, well, she has tights. It, it, this is like a, some kind of tights. And Monica is wearing tights. Some some kind of of uh, shirt. It's it's um it's tied to uh, the body. 
And what else? Uh, let me see. Uh, she's wearing shoes, but here is it's not her belt. Ah, he, perhaps, oh, she, she's wearing belt. All right. And definitely your, uh, your partly outfit. So here you are going to write what are you wearing? So you're wearing shoes, you're wearing the sneakers, uh, you're wearing pants, trousers, uh, jacket, uh, sweaters, uh, a scarf, or gloves, all those things that you, that you're wearing at the moment. So underwear, uh, whatever. Imagine you're going to party at your outfit to the table, to the table. I mean, outfit is what are you wearing, okay? So this is for you to write according to this part. Underline the correct option, option to complete the service. Jane's outfit is cool, is the cooler of the coolness. Remember, superlatives and comparatives. Uh, when you use cooler is when you compare. So here, there are no options to compare. That's why in this part, Jane's outfit is the coolest because it's superlatives. I mean, it's, it, it can't uh, compare with something else. Monique's clothes are more, most comfortable than Susie. If you notice here, they're comparing. They're comparing Monique's clothes and Susie. So that's why you say more, more because it's com, com, uh, 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 this is uh, comparing uh, comparatives, okay? And Susan, uh, Susie's style is the prettier of the three. So if you say prettier, it means that you need compare. That's why the prettiest, it means superlatives. And Jake's clothes are the most more casual. So in this case, uh, don't forget it's not comparing. So that's why it's the most uh, casual. All right. And uh, let's go now to this. So you need to write a certain just comparing your party outfit to the others. Use the words in the box. Original, comfortable, formal, casual. So my outfit is more casual than Susie. So something is that you are, you can use com comparatives or superlatives using these phrases, okay? So you use one, then you use the other uh, words to make a comparative or superlative phrases. And here is the same. So gyms are popular. So uh, they, so they, uh, they're uh, what? Uh, uh, in this case, uh, you can write, uh, uh, they, uh, they, um, So it is possible in present, in past tense, or is possible to change, or is possible to say in present tense. So we need to use one of them. So now, uh, let's go to the point today. Uh, today we're going to have a reading part, and this is the reading part. It's not complicated. I mean, it's, it's just so uh, read this, and that's all. You know, be yourself. Uh, of course, you, you, you have to complete this if it's in present, in present continuous, past, simple, past, conti uh, past continuous, if it's possible. Uh, don't forget this also could be writing in present perfect because you uh, already know that. Or perhaps you can uh, write uh, the possessive voice in some cases if you want to. It, it depends on the phrase. So let's go to this. So working groups and read the article and discuss how your clothes are express your personality. It is it is good to know uh, that some, especially in our country, you know, um, you dress in informal way 
uh, people respect you and some people believe that you are a better person and some people not. But uh, that's, the, the, that's the problem. You know, we need to understand that uh, sometimes. But, well, I, I definitely our culture, our society, our, how uh, some people um, create or made and this kind of culture that, in my point of view, it doesn't work because we can't judge someone because the way he he or she dress it's it's crazy to uh, discover how is his or her personality nevertheless in our country it, it happens all the time especially when you when you uh you you are going to um enter to a new job or you're waiting for a new review for a job so you you need to very you need to dress very polite and sometimes the way you speak is something different so uh, it is it's complicated but let's let's read this i, I mean um uh, remember we have three uh four activities but in this case i don't think so it's necessary to write or to do the three activities because the reading is very simple man it's not it's not one reading, it's not comprehension, it's just uh, giving a suggestion for you. And what do you think about both? So be yourself. Let's go. Now, remember, uh, this is very important that you listen, read, and speak after me. In that way, you can learn how to read in English, and then you can understand, and there you can understand better English, and, and then you have a nice comprehension and so on so let's go be yourself first let's go very slow be yourself when you go to a party choose clothes that you like and feel comfortable in wear clothes that express your personality most of, of all have confidence feel confident who will look confident. Wearing cloth is not a competition. Each person should wear cloth that express his or her individual style. Cloth should be fun. Should be fun. Yes. So now notice this. This is perfect, especially for teenagers. Uh, this is an, an, a suggestion also for you. You know, we so what kind of clothes do you wear when you go to the party? So how do you dress? How do you, uh, how, how's your look? Or how's your uh, style? How, how, tell us, how do you feel comfortable um, when you go to the party? This is, this is, is this is real. I mean, um, even for adult people, when uh, and for example in my case when i go to marriage uh, I, I have to dress very formal and uh, I, I sometimes it, it's not excellent for me but i must have to respect that this is a very special moment for that person who's gonna get engaged with someone but uh it, it will go uh beyond that we can discover that uh, clothes are important but it, it's not the point i mean it's it's, it's excellent uh, when you are a teenager because you want to uh, find someone to talk to dance or perhaps you want to you know to meet someone else that you admire or you want to meet or you want to dance and then if you dress in some way, maybe uh, she or he can accept you more and then you can uh, get more friends. And that's all, that's, uh, in other words, that's what this topic talks about this page, is how you feel with your cloth and how can you dress and, 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 and how it uh, represents uh, your personality and the way you are. Okay, so don't forget, 
uh, to do this and think in that. Think in the way you dress, think in the clothes that you are wearing.